we wanted to bring in our buddy, Larry Gianfi, onto the show. Larry! Hassan, Big Khan, what's good? Hey, I appreciate you taking the time to dedicate this segment to talking about the New England Patriots and all the stuff that has been going on. Listen, I have some big news for you. What's Sony up? Michelle, his fifth-year option has been declined. Thank you, Jesus. It's about time. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's about time. It's been a it's been a long four years. It it just doesn't make any sense on why they chose to keep uh, or pass up on Nick Chubb and take yeah. Sony Michelle. I mean, they passed up on the power running back to take a running back who can't catch or be a power running back or uh, play running back for the National Football League. But hey, <laughs> you can't hit on every pick already. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess it just didn't work out with them. But, hey, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. But speaking of picks that might hit or miss, listen, Mac Jones, uh, yeah. number 15 overall, goes to the New England Patriots, falls. The future. The future. Like You're already calling it. I was going to ask you, uh, what, what are your thoughts on Mac Jones? Um, I'm not the biggest college football guy, but I know he's a very successful quarterback at Alabama. Um. I'm just not sure if it's a talent thing or if it's a program thing because, you you know, he's playing for Alabama. They've got the best wide receivers, the best running backs, the biggest linemen, the best defense. And it's not going to be like that in the NFL. Um, the Patriots were mediocre last year, and they added a lot of pieces. But is he going to be a quarterback that elevates everybody else? Or is he, you know, is he going to struggle because he's not playing with, you know, the number one recruits from every state? Do you feel like... Cam should get the start in week one and for maybe the entirety of the 2021 season? Or do you feel like Mac Jones should get some playing time in 2021? Um, I think Cam should be the starting quarterback for the entire season. Uh, he he dealt with a lot last year. You know, The circumstances were extraordinary. Um, the pandemic, you know, he was stepping in for Tom Brady. He had no OTAs, no minicamp, no preseason. Um, he just had to come in and try to learn a new system on the fly. And he was successful for two, three weeks, and then he caught COVID. And, I mean, we're still learning about the effects of COVID. Uh, you know, there's certain players in the NBA who are struggling with, you know, getting their breath back on things like that. So I can't imagine Cam playing quarterback in uh, the National Football League, you know, dealing with all that stuff on top of recovering from COVID, on top of dealing with a team that had a whole lot of injuries. Uh, a lot of players opting out, you know, things like that. They were playing a first place schedule because, or a second, uh, well, they were a two seed last year. So yeah, first place schedule. They're playing tough teams. Um, the Bills are in that division. The Dolphins were on the rise. There's just a lot to deal with. And they won. Uh, what did they go six and ten? Uh, last so, year, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, this year is going to be different. Hopefully, he's going to have more time to prepare. He's getting, he's going to be more familiar with the system and the players and the coaches and. They've made a bunch of additions, so I say let's you know let's see what Cam can do. I think he's given everything that he was given last year. He deserves an opportunity to be the starter for the season this year. It might have been six to ten or seven or nine, one of those. I think it was seven and nine. Not sure. Yeah. Regardless, though, uh, so you say Cam should be starting. When yeah. do you feel like Mac Jones should be going in? Is that twenty twenty two? I think it should be. It should be next year. Um, I think the only way I can see Cam or Mac starting this year is if something happens to Cam, whether he gets hurt or sick again or you know, something like that. I don't know if he, he can come in and change the program right away. I think, And there's nothing wrong with sitting for a year or two. Um, Brady sat for a year. So if we're going to make the comparison, then there you go. <laughs> yeah, and if we want to make more comparisons, let's just hope that Cam Newton was, was to get light up or lit up by the New York Jets and Mac Jones comes in and has a seven Super Bowl career, six with the Patriots. But that's wishful thinking. However, the seventh yeah. Super Bowl that Tom Brady did win was with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who's now going to be playing Bill Belichick and the Patriots Sunday Night Football. It's going to be a very good game. I think the cheapest ticket, I just read this, was like $500, right? It was like 1200 Jeez. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So that's going to be a great game. It's what are your thoughts on that matchup? Um, it's gonna it's gonna be a good game. I think 
we know what the Bucks can do. They have a high powered offense. They've got, you know, let's say three of the top fifteen wide receivers. They got the running backs, Gronkowski, you know, they got a lot. Um but I do think our defense is gonna be pretty good this year. Um all the players that opted out are coming back. We added Judon, we added a bunch of defensive back talent. Um Patrick Chunk did retire, but um, about if there's one thing Bowser can do is he can fill in gaps and holes for players that come and go. So I think we're going to have one of the top defenses again. Um, Stephon Gilmore is still there. He was hurt last season, but at the beginning of the season, he was healthy. He was still a shutdown corner. So uh, there's one thing Bowser can do is he can scheme to take away what you do best. And if a uh, high-powered offense with high-flying receivers is what they do best, I, know, I think Bowser can come up with a good scheme to shut that down. And it's the age-old question where – it, it still might be a conversation. It still may not be after Tom Brady's Super Bowl win. But was it Bill Belichick? Or was it Tom Brady that was responsible for the Super Bowls? After this matchup in week four, are we going to find out the answer to whether it was Belichick responsible or Brady responsible? No. We didn't find it out last year. I don't think we're going to find it out this year. Um, I don't think that question is ever going to get answered. Brady left the Patriots and went to – uh, one of the better offenses in the league the previous year with Jameis. Even though he threw 30 interceptions, he did throw for 5,000 yards and 30 touchdowns. Wow. So he went to that. They had a pretty good defense. He went to a perfect situation for an older quarterback like him. And the Patriots had a bunch of players that opted out and a bunch of injuries and a pandemic to deal with. Um, so, I mean, we just don't know. I don't think we know the answer, personally. But yeah. It's just me. It, no, it's it, you're absolutely right. I mean, the, the Super Bowl last year, some people could say you could put an asterisk next to that, even though Tom yeah. Brady went to his different team. All these players wanted to sign once he signed with Tampa Bay. And I think it was just like a perfect marriage that just happened. So, so get together. Bill Belichick was the greatest coach. Tom Brady, greatest quarterback, and just worked really well together. Yeah. Uh, and when they were together, it flip-flopped. There were some years where Brady wasn't the greatest, and, you know, the defense and the schemes held it down. There were some years where – you know, we have Matt Patricia and the 32nd ranked defense, and Brady was carrying us to the Super Bowl. So, uh, oh, I mean, Matt just Patricia. looking back at that, you just don't know. So, I still, you know, I don't think we'll ever know, personally. Yeah, it's an age-old question. We'll never know. But that's the beauty of it. We get to debate about it, which is so awesome. Uh, final question before I let you go. For sure. If you had to make a rough guess about the record for the Patriots yes. in 2021, now – there is a 17th game as well, so keep that in mind. What is your prediction? If everybody stays healthy, I think they can go to the extra game. So I think they can go 11-6. and six, Be a, I, don't, I don't think they'll win the division, but I think they can be a divisional, uh, a divisional playoff team or a wild card team. So 11-6 is my record if, everything, if everybody's healthy. Yeah, eleven to six is not out of the record. We actually did a whole computer simulation of the schedule last week during the schedule release show, and the Patriots actually surprisingly went twelve and five and had one of the better records yeah. in the NFL. So it could they got happen. a lot of talent. They got a lot of talent, and there were some games last year that you know came down to the end. Uh, you know, we almost beat the Seahawks. We almost beat the Bills. Uh, you know, just didn't work out. But there's a lot of one possession games. So. Yeah, we'll definitely see what's going to be happening. But, Larry, thank you for taking the time to join us on Time to Football. And Much appreciated. And of course. best of luck to you and the Patriots. Best of luck to you and the Falcons. Yeah, Falcons are going to suck. <laughs> 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 but that is Larry Gianfi, ladies and gentlemen, joining us for this episode of Time to Football.